dime. I'd love to get your two cents. What I'm thinking is you guys fight your demons. Shit, I sleep with mine. I bounce with my demons. Um, embrace that shit. But self-help is the best help. Um, the way I dealt with my, my demons, um, childhood demons, cognitive behavioral therapy, and you can literally do it yourself. Like you can see a therapist, but you can do it yourself. Um, ask yourself why you feel the things you're feeling, whether it's in the market, outside of the market. Um, use your own personal experiences to answer those questions of why you feel that way. Why do you feel anger at this moment in time? Why do you feel, why do you want to shout when you feel what you feel? Are you triggered by shouting in your childhood? Why are you impulsive? Where does that impulsive <clears throat> behavior come from? So once you identify your triggers and you identify why you feel the way you feel, that makes you behave the way you behave, you can take action against those demons. Um, so if I'm feeling impulsive that day and I'm just wrecking my account and I don't see why it's happening in that moment and I walk away and I identify my trigger, <clears throat> my OCD go out of hand, I'm overwhelmed from ADHD, whatever the case is, I can come back with a clearer mind and tackle that demon and not let it, you know, manifest and keep going. And then, you know, I also have um, mantras for myself um, that, that really help, you know, get in the habit of making an effort to give myself credit for what I've changed and how I've learn something new or unlearn a bad behavior, reward myself for it. I said the last time that I'm very mute and just neutral when it comes to um, taking a loss or taking having a big win, like not celebrate it too much either way. Um, aside from that, just celebrate something that I've stuck to and have changed and have learned instead of looking at the dollar amount, look at the, the action, the behavior behind it. Um, you know, don't dwell on the past, forgive yourself. Don't feel resentment for what you went through and how it made you act the way you acted as long as you've made a different move um, in the future. You know, I tell myself all the time, I have the skills I need to get through this. So don't let those demons come and fuck with you to make you feel like you're inadequate and you haven't made the necessary changes that you need to make to to win this shit you know three four five years down the line is what i'm doing right now is this gonna is this gonna matter this tiny little obstacle this small demon that's fucking with me is is it gonna prevent me from getting to where I need to get. And is this minuscule problem in my life um, gonna be an issue five years from now? So why should I give it this much energy? You know, preserve your energy for shit that really matters, shit that really needs um, to change in your life, to get you <clears throat> to get you to where you need to be. Sorry, I'm, this edible just keeps, every 15 minute it keeps hitting. And I'm like, I'm trying to catch my words. Um, that's that good <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, I I'm took good. a bite and then an hour and then another bite after an hour. So it's like, it's hitting in segments. Um, but yeah, there's those mantras that you really need to refer back to when you have, when you start to face those demons and have those um, feelings. I keep them on my notes too. So, you know, it's something that I can, excuse me, go back to and read whenever I feel a type of way if I'm slipping back um, to an old behavior that I've already corrected and unlearned, why have I felt back into that category <clears throat> of things I've already healed from or supposedly healed from or moved on from? What is triggering me? Um, so to sum that all up, accountability, self-accountability. You are your biggest asset and you're your biggest uh, problem. Um, and biggest liability so no one's gonna hand it to you no one's gonna give you the handbook no one's gonna give you the secret sauce 
the work is all within yourself. You cannot seek healing from others. You cannot seek others to change your behaviors. You cannot seek outside validation. It has to come from within. Whatever you're dealing with is personal to you. That demon is within you. Nobody brought it to you. Nobody handed it to you. It's yours. It's for you to take responsibility for, for you to heal from it, for you to block it, for you to tell it to fuck off, for you to change. No one is going to feel what you feel because it's personal to you and your journey. How that happened to you, why it happened, how are you going to change it? Nobody on earth can do that for you except for you. So, so key keyword, self-accountability. Mm-hmm.